Okay, so I believe that the better our eye work is, so the sequence that we're going to talk about in a few minutes, the cleaner we are, the better we are at getting the information, the better spots we can be. So we're going to become better defenders if we can pay attention to the right things. Next, our base and our posture before we dig a ball. So in this picture, we have our three back row defenders here. So we have Lauren Carlini, who's playing right back number seven, and she is two by two. Justine Wong Orantes is in left back, and she's our other wing defender. We refer to them as wing defenders often. And their b base position is two by two. So if you were to kind of stand on that tee at three meters and the sideline, you're going to just take two steps in and two steps back, back meaning towards the end line. Okay, and, and this is a really good spot for us. Why? A lot of quick attacks that are hit in their direction go to this area. So we want to be waiting there. And the same goes for Kelsey, who is in middle back. And we like this really simple approach. We're not moving a ton while the setter is setting. We're balanced. That's a big part of it. Ideally, we should be stopped so that we can move forward or move any direction that we need to. Our arms are in front. It's really nice when our palms are facing up because that's how we plan to dig. And, and some defenders wait here with their palms down. And I think we're going to definitely dig more balls with our palms up. So let's just start there. Okay. And then I just love watching men's volleyball. And this is a snapshot of our men's team and their base positioning. And I really like their posture and I like how their palms are up and that ball is coming fast at them. And so they're ready to dig quick and ready to move forward. And it's just a nice, strong position. Okay, in this first clip, we are playing Argentina and we are on the far side. And the reason why I want us to look at this is Lauren is going to serve the ball and get ready in her base position as soon as she can. And it pays off. Here we go. Okay, one of the first things that can happen besides an overpass is a setter dump, and Lauren is all over it. Here's the same play, but just another view, side view. Get our wing defenders are ready. The setter has one arm up, so that's our cue, our tell, that she's going to dump. And if we're balanced, we can play forward like how Lauren did. If we're moving around, it's really tough to change direction. Okay, so Chiaka is going to serve and get to her base, and she's going to come up with a nice dig for us, nice and high. This ends up going probably four feet off the net, but we can still deal with it. Here's a good example of what balance on contact looks like. So Japan, as you can see, they ran a really fast go, and the attacker runs inside out. So she runs from inside the court, and she gets a little wider, and... It's really easy to follow that motion. And so I like what our back row does here. We stay balanced and you'll see Kelsey is going to dig this ball and she's trying to hold her ground and stay balanced. And she comes up with a really nice dig for us here. It's high and off the net and Jordan Poulter is able to get to it and run forward to this dig. Here's another play. And a couple of things that I want you to pay attention to is just our posture on base defense and defense and how we are able to make some of these small adjust adjustments by being balanced. Okay, so Netherlands comes up with it. And then right here, I like our posture on defense from Annie, who's in right front on our left side in the red. Our right back defender, Jordan Poulter, Kelsey in middle back, and Megan a left back. And we come up with a nice dig and we're back at base and we're balanced and we're not a ton of extra movement. So we're trying to be efficient. Megan takes a nice step to the ball and we come up with a dig. <laughs> 